So finally, the big Mistral secret is out. I've always wondered how Mistral is going to make money. In fact, I was worried how Mistral is going to make money. Given that they've made really good open source contribution, I wanted them to make money. And now we know how they're going to make money. So in this video, we're going to look at three different things. One, the model that Mistral announced. Two, the model that Mistral did not announce. Three, how Mistral is going to make money. The first one is Mistral of experts. This is the same model that they announced a couple of days back as a torrent file and internet went bonkers with that. This is Mixtral of experts. This Mixtral of experts is something that is called a sparse mixture of experts model, S-M-O-E. What is the sparse mixture of experts? Let's break down these words into three different words, sparse, mixture and experts. Sparse generally refers to like anything that has like mostly zero and some data point. The same way in this particular context, a sparse mixture of experts is where a certain number of elements or parameters contribute at any given time. For example, there is a token prediction or there is an inference happening. It's not like the entire parameter of all the models will be active. Only certain parameters would be active and that helps you accelerate the inference speed. Now, mixture of expert is quite easy. So we have got certain expert models. And when you combine these expert models together, you have got a mixture of experts. One thing that people don't understand is that these mixture of expert models are not like your ensemble or stacking model. It's not like you have got like five different models stacked together. I mean, kind of it is the same case, but these are part of the neural network itself. And these are not like a plug and play at this point. Like it's not like you can suddenly say, okay, I don't want this model. I want a different model. This goes in the process of training unlike what you used to do with machine learning stacking and ensemble models. This is SMOE because Mistral, this Mistral model that we are talking about, this is eight distinct group of parameters. So these are like eight models that are combined together and the way every token at every layer, there is a routing network that actually chooses two groups of this eight models to say that, okay, this token should go there, this token should go there, this token should go there. And finally, the output puts are combined additively because of this even though mixtral has got 45 billion parameter it only uses 12 billion parameters per token so you make a prediction if you want to make a prediction there is total 45 billion parameter in mixtral which is like 8 of the 7 billion parameter model but uses only 12 billion parameters per token therefore it increases the output speed at the same cost of running a 12 billion parameter model but the catch here is that it's not a 12 billion parameter model. It's much better than a 12 billion parameter model. And that is quite evident if you see the benchmarks. This benchmark compares Mistral to 70 billion parameter model with GPT 3.5 and the Mistral of experts, the 8, 7 billion parameter model. If you see almost on most of the benchmarks, Mistral 8 or 7 billion parameters, the MOE, the mixture of experts, really, really better than the Llama to 70 billion parameters. So what you're seeing here is the a 45 billion parameter model that activates only 12 billion parameters during one token prediction is better than a 70 billion parameter model like Llama 2. And this is just the base model, like mind you. Mistral was quite popular when this was launched as a base model, but the community actually fine-tuned a lot of models and it became like a totally different piece and that is something that you might also see in this case. And in fact, if you see this comparison on GSM8K, on MBPP, on MMLU, which something like Google claimed to be the best, on all these benchmarks, Mistral 8 into 7 billion, the MOE performs better than ChatGPT 3.5. So you have got a true contender for ChatGPT 3.5, but that is not one monolithic huge model. Rather, it's a mixture of experts model based on Mistral 7 billion parameter in eight count. This is honestly speaking quite, uh, quite a huge uh, achievement to be honest. And uh, this chart actually indicates the quality versus inference budget trade-off. So you can see here like on every benchmark, what is the inference budget and what is the comprehension, uh, The sorry, what is the metric uh, quality? So based on the accuracy of a particular metric, you can see how this is much better. For example, the red color line indicates the inference budget required for running a Llama to 70 billion parameter model while the orange color in shows you the quality or the inference budget required to run a Mistral 7 
billion parameters MOE model. So the first one is Mistral 7 billion parameter model. The second one is Mistral 7 billion parameter model as an MOE, the eight units. And you can see still this is much uh, smaller in size when you compare it with the Llama 2 model. So Llama 2 70 billion parameter model requires more budget and um, Mistral requires much lesser budget while maintaining a similar quality. I think this is quite amazing and this might also set a new trend of a lot of open source models coming with mini mixture of experts. Now people have already started discussing, okay, can I have one uh, model for coding? one model for let's say role playing, one model for something else and combine all these models as eight model rather than one base model and how would it do? I think people have started exploring all these things. It's quite exciting. The good thing also with Mistral is it's not only an English language model. It masters, that's what they're saying, uh, French, German, Spanish, Italian and English. This being a French company, I think they've started with French. I don't know, just quite observation. But French, German, Spanish, Italian and English. I think this gives them a huge edge in the EU, European Union region, to you make them use this particular model in itself. So the next one is that they have launched a base model based on Mistral 7 billion MOE, the 8, Mistral 8X7B. But they've also launched an Instruct fine-tuned model. So not just that you have to train a fine-tuned model, they've already released a fine-tuned model and then they've released it. This marks the first section of our video. Now the second section of video is, how is the Mistral going to make money? That's, that's a very valid question. And that is where a new platform comes into picture. The $2 billion valuation of Mistral is not only for the models, but also they're making the models available behind their own endpoint. So if you have been wondering, how do I run this model? How do I run all the other models of Mistral? Then the easiest way is for you to go to the platform that they've got. The platform that they're calling is the platform. This is a platform where Mistral AI endpoints are going to be available and you can direct go ahead and then start using this. This answers the second question, right? Uh, how is Mistral going to make money? You can see the pricing here. The pricing is almost not the best endpoint pricing yet, but still this model is available. So you have got three models, Mistral Tiny, Mistral Small, Mistral Medium. Now you might start naturally wondering, and this is the place where we are going into the third section of this video, because Mistral Tiny is the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Mistral Small is the Mistral 8X7B, the MOE model. And the third section of this video is the unannounced model that Mistral is holding up, because that is also going to let them make more money using their platform, because it's going to be platform exclusive. And that model literally, literally beats GPT 3.5 on every single benchmark. MMLU, GPT 3.5, 70%. This is 75.3%. LSWAG, 85, 88. Arc Challenge, 89. Vinograde, 81, 88. F MBBP, 52.2 and Mistral Medium is 62.3. GSM 8K 57 and this is 66. And Empty Bench, this is 8.3 and 8.6. On literally every single benchmark that they have shown here, Mistral Medium model beats GPT 3.5. Hey, but this is just GPT 3.5, not GPT uh, 4 or anything else. I think this is massive. This is a company that did not have a head start like Google. This is a company that did not have a head start like OpenAI. And this company, um, it's not Silicon Valley based, recently started, I think less than 30 people. And this company has managed to create a model which, which has not released yet, that beats GPT 3.5 on every single benchmark, at least let's say all, all these benchmarks that we have seen. I think this is massive and Mistral's moat is their own platform running the biggest model while releasing the smaller models for open source, fine tuning and all these things. I honestly welcome this and I want them to make money. They've also got an embedding endpoint and um, if you want to register for their platform, you can go ahead and register here. But overall, I think this is amazing. So the three announcement, one is we have a new model called Mixtral 8X7B. This is a MOE mixture of experts model, quite good, better than Llama 70 billion parameter model. Second announcement, they have announced their own platform, lab platform, May, which is like uh, their own AA endpoints. All the models will be available as AA endpoint. And the third one is the unannounced model that is secretly here available, Mistral Medium. Now I started wondering what would Mistral Large would look like. Anyways, let's wait for that. See you in another video. Happy prompting.